Hi everyone, it's Mr. Dapson. I'm actually coming today. Hopefully you're enjoying uh, your day off and have found time to uh, celebrate all the things that uh, Dr. King uh, did in his life and the things that he did so that, that all of us could live a better life uh, and could understand and, and be able to respect one another uh, in ways that, that our country didn't do in, in the time that he was trying to, to fight for those things. So we do hope that you found time to do that. And remember, just like we had our post on Facebook, there is never a, a bad time to do the right thing. So please uh, remember that today as you spend time with your family uh, and enjoy a day off. And, and again, we, we hope that you've been able to do that throughout your day today. I'd also like to share a couple of things that are coming up uh, really soon. Uh, the first one is that we have Michelle Abraham. She's coming to read her book, uh, Lunchtime Smorgasbord, at the end of the month. Last Friday, we sent home a notice to you to say that you could uh, purchase her book in advance. Those that purchased the book, we, we have asked uh, Michelle if she would sign those books. Students will not only have a chance to be able to listen to her read the book that she wrote, Lunchtime Smorgasbord, but also an opportunity to have her uh, sign their book. So if they do purchase the book, it, it will be a signed copy. Uh, so it'll be a neat experience and the students will get a chance to ask her questions both about her and, and her story with the book that she wrote and, and the things that she uh, had to do in order to get that book published. But they'll also be able to ask questions about her daytime job um, as the host of Good Day Stateline um, here in Rockford on Fox 39. And they'll also be able to ask her about her job at 97ZOK, where she does the midday show as Midday Michelle. So that'll be an exciting opportunity for all of our students. You are certainly welcome to join us. She'll be here on the 27th at 9 a.m. And we're going to do that right here where I am now in the sanctuary. So we look forward to that. The other thing I want to share is that several years ago, before the pandemic happened, in fact, the absolute weekend that we had to shut down school that year, uh, we were planning to have our annual dinner auction event uh, here at Alpine. We are bringing that back. We are gonna have the Family Feud Entertainment that we originally intended to have. We're excited about that because we all wanted to be able to, to enjoy that event, and now we're gonna be able to do that uh, this year. We're gonna be doing that on March the 4th. You probably saw something about it in the letter that I wrote. Um, at Christmas time, I do apologize in that letter. It was written as March 5th. It is in fact, March 4th. Um, you will be getting in the mail. This is the first piece right here that you're gonna get in the mail. This is a save the date card. Uh, right behind that shortly after you're gonna get the invitation and then you can start to RSVP for the event. We really encourage you, please make plans to join us on March the 4th. This is gonna be a big event. We're not only gonna have the family feud and the auction items and some other fun things, including a raffle where you could win a thousand dollar tuition credit, but we're also going to be able to celebrate 25 years of education at Alpine. And that's a really uh, big achievement. Uh, there's been a lot of struggle throughout the years to make sure that we keep this school going and make sure that our Alpine family can continue to grow. So we look forward to being able to join us then as well. So please make plans. And if you know anybody who has been a student at Alpine, has been on staff at Alpine, or has even just simply volunteered at Alpine or been a part of our family in, in, in some way in the, in the time that we've been here for 25 years, please, if they don't get this card because we don't have everybody's addresses, please make sure that you share that information with them so that they too can make plans to join us on March the 4th. We would love to have as many of our former family students and volunteers and, and staff join us uh, for a great event on, on that weekend. The other thing I wanna share with you is that this week at Chapel, last week we talked a lot about uh, Jesus' baptism, and we talked about uh, the reasons that he did it, John the Baptist, and the process that that took. Our students watched a nice video about that and explained it. This week, we're going to share in the remembrance of our baptism. So most of us were baptized, uh, oftentimes when, when we were young, whether we were babies or just younger as children, we were baptized. And throughout our lives, we want to make sure that we take time to remember our baptism and know the reasons and understand why God instructed us that that was an important step in, in our faith walk, in our faith life. So this week at chapel, we're going to take this right here. This is our baptismal font here at Alpine. This is where when people come to get baptized, this is exactly where the pastor pulls the water from. And remember, it's just water. Um, and water is used because it's sustaining in life. And it's also used because it is what we use to cleanse ourselves. And so we use water as a symbol. But what we're going to do this week is we're going to allow students to come in. This part right here will be removed. There will be water in the font here. And we will just allow students to take their fingers, they'll dip their fingers in the water, and then put a cross on their forehead. The reason for doing this is because, you know, as Christians, we, we certainly believe in the things that God has asked us to do and God has called us to do. God told John the Baptist to baptize all the people. 
John the Baptist did that. Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. And it washed away the sins and the bad things that we have done in our lives or those things that we did that we know that God didn't want us to. We want to make sure that we experience that together. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure if your child has not been baptized and, and you would prefer that they did not take part in this portion of it, please just let give the school a call anytime tonight, tomorrow. Leave a message. Shoot me an email. My email, the easiest way to get it is mr.dabson at alpineacademyofrockford.com. We'd be happy to help you out if you have questions about it. Please let me know. Otherwise, we do look forward to being able to remember our baptism. Last week we learned about it. This week we will remember it. It's a very important step in our faith walk, and I look forward to helping our students to even deeper understand at their age the importance of baptism and why God asked us to do that. So that's something that we're going to do this week in, in chapel, and I look forward to, to doing that. Um, I also look forward to, to inviting all of you back to, to join us. Remember, on Tuesdays we have... Uh, chapel at 215 with all of our first graders through our sixth graders and those of you that might want to join us for our preschool or kindergarten chapel you can do that on Friday at 9 15 in the morning both of those chapel opportunities are opportunities for you as parents or even grandparents can join us our students love it when their parents or grandparents come so you're welcome to join us uh, we'd love to have you so please uh, consider doing that we look forward to this second semester I hope that your new year has started well and I hope that all of the, the fun events and, and things that are coming up are things that you or your student are going to be able to participate in and be a part of. We love having you be a part of our Alpine family, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.